Hey everyone, so for today's video, we are going to be talking about feminine hygiene and I'm going to share with you guys literally my entire um, bin of products that I use for my downstairs area and things that just help me feel fresh and clean. Now, I don't use everything at once, but these are just like a combined products um, bin of everything that I have used on my downstairs area before, including for like my period. So that's kind of why there's like a lot. I know you're probably like, girl, you don't need all that. And you're right. But some of the stuff in here is just like period care, like pads and stuff like that. That's why it's like so full the way it is. But like I said, today's video is going to be about feminine hygiene um, for like your downstairs area. And I'm just going to share with you guys the things that have worked for me products that I've been loving and have loved in the past. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so just because these are kind of on top, so we're gonna talk about wipes. I'm gonna share with you guys some downstairs area wipes that I love. So this one I just got a couple days ago. This is by The Honest Brand and they are sensitive and they are just like fragrance free and they're wipes, you get 72 of these. Now, the thing I do want to mention is that the wipes I'm gonna be showing y'all, some of them are flushable, some of them are not. That is really important, especially if you own your own apartment or you own your own home because you do not want to have to call for plumbing or something like that. So these are not flushable wipes. So I will take these with me sometimes or I use them in my own house and just use them to like freshen up my downstairs area after I use the restroom, whether it's number one or number two. These are really sensitive and gentle for your downstairs area. So they work for my downstairs area. They don't throw out the pH or anything like that. Now, wipes are not necessary. I just personally like the comfort of using wipes over toilet paper. I still use toilet paper. It just kind of depends on how I'm feeling, but the Honest brand is one of them that I enjoy. And I got these at Marshall's for $3.99 supposed to be five dollars and like i said you get 72 of them i just use them because i like them like i said they are really gentle on your downstairs area and i feel like they cleanse you so much better than toilet paper toilet paper has no type of like cleansing property so after you use the number one or number two it's not like refreshing you up it's not like re-cleaning your downstairs area whereas wipes i feel like are actually like cleansing you all over again and and like a pose of like getting back in the shower because you took a number two. Like, you know what I mean? You have these to clean your butt instead of like toilet paper. But that's just me. I love wipes and the Honest Brand is one of them. Another is Baby Dove. These I got at Gabe's for $1.99. The compared value is $3. And you get 63 sensitive skin wipes and you get 100% plant-based fiber wipes, whatever. Um, same deal as the Honest Brand. They're not flushable, but they're wipes. They do cleanse your down's area. They're sensitive and they don't break me out, but they do make me feel clean. And whenever I take a number two, it definitely makes me feel like much more confident and feeling like I got everything. And I feel like I use less wipes than I do toilet paper whenever I take a number two and whenever I uh, take a number one. So I like these and whatever I use these non-flushable wipes, what I would do is uh wipe and then i will put it in the trash can and i get rid of it frequently so like it doesn't smell or anything um but yeah i like to use wipes as opposed to toilet paper most times another brand that i love and have always talked highly about is good wipes they have different kinds they have a pink rose water kind which i've talked about and love they also have a white kind which is like bamboo i love that one as well and then this one is their flushable and plant-based um, wipes are hypoallergenic and they're safe for sensitive skin. And these are in the scent Cedar. And these you get 50 extra large wipes. I got these at Marshall's and it came in a pack of three, I wanna say for like $4.99. And each set had 50. So you got 150 wipes for like three to $4.99. And I love the good wipes, plus they're flushable. So these, you can actually flush them in your toilet, but you wanna make sure Whenever you pick wipes or decide to use wipes, you decide whether or not you feel more comfortable with the flushable ones or if you are okay with just like disposing it in the um, trash can. But definitely do not flush the ones that don't say flushable in your toilet. But you also have to be careful because sometimes brands still say it's flushable, but they don't flush that well and you still might have to call for plumbing. So be careful. I still don't even flush these down the toilet. When I had, when I lived in a dorm and I wasn't like, having to pay for plumbing like now when I have my own apartment I would splash these no problem but I'm kind of too scared to now because I don't know how much plumbing costs and I really don't want to find out and 
yeah but i really like these as well these are scented okay but in my experience using the good wipes when the ones that are sensitive they haven't broke out my downstairs area and it hasn't given it a odor i feel like it might just depend on everyone else but for some reason i just haven't broke out from these type of wipes they're using them they're in my downstairs area and i think it's because they are sensitive and um hyperallergenic possibly or maybe that's just like my skin and my downstairs area that's just how it works now um no specific order because i literally have so much in here and it's just kind of like compacted into this one bin i'm not gonna do no specific order i'm just gonna pick something and tell you guys about it and why i like it for my downstairs area and how it like helps me prevent any type of odor and all that good stuff so you guys know i love nutriblast nutriblast is such an amazing brand if you are someone who is looking for like really nice downstairs air products that are going to help you get rid of odor that's going to eliminate the odor that's going to help you with yeast infections and discomfort and all that good stuff so something i like to throw in my routine every now and then is these boric life supplements they're all natural it supports odor control and promotes vaginal balance and you get 30 of them these are in my amazon storefront if you guys would like to purchase them i also have a direct link from the nutriblast brand but i'm telling you guys even though i work with nutriblast a lot of the times like i still consistently use their products i genuinely love them these specifically especially whenever i feel like my downstairs area needs like a reset like whenever you do the do that's normally the time where i would use these because i want to like flush everything possible out of my system that uh could negatively affect my downstairs area um but that's just me you don't have to do the do to have to use these sometimes you just might feel off maybe you just went swimming that's another great one you just went swimming maybe you just worked out and that type of um, environment for your downstairs area it's not always the best like especially if you go swimming in a pool with a whole bunch of people hot tubs stuff like that like it's not the best for your downstairs area and so i feel like you want something that's gonna like cleanse you out from the inside. Yes, you can use a feminine wash, but the one thing I love about these supplements is that they cleanse you from the inside versus just the outside. So you can really feel clean and confident and that's something I love. So love these to death, like I love them down. They are so amazing. And then to apply them, I use these. These are also by Nutriblast and using these just feels so much more hygienic. So I do like these. These are just the applicators versus using your hand. They do come in different amounts. This one specifically is a pack of 15. They also have a pack of 30. Um, I know that for a fact because they sent them to me, but these you just use them whenever you apply the Boric Life supplements or the other supplements which i will talk about next from nutriblast and then you dispose of them they're really simple really easy but it helps you make sure that you're really getting it up there and like i said it's much more hygienic because you don't have to use your hand which isn't going to go so far up because you know your fingers only so long versus the actual applicator oh so, yeah i really love these products i'm gonna throw everything on the floor because i just have so much these i'm out of and i'm so sad and whenever i get paid i'm gonna get some more because these I love these the most whenever I am um, off my period because sometimes your period will have odor and whenever my period does and whenever I just want to really get rid of like my period and really just want to have like a clean fresh like from going from like period to not period I want it to be the most smooth process as possible I will use these because these are super strong these are the tea tree supplements and these are so strong to the point where like whenever I use these people think I literally smell like tea tree and I'm not mad at it because tea tree smells good it's a good thing to smell like it's better than smelling like period blood so I much rather smell like tea tree and everyone complimented me saying that I smell like tea tree and that I smell good versus someone not telling me I smell good and them talking about how my back because I smell like period blood that's just me and I hope that's you as well but that's why I use these. These are just so much stronger than the Boric Life ones because it's tea tree. Now these are really great if you are experiencing any type of discomfort for your downstairs area like um, itchiness and dryness because tea tree is moisturizing and it has like healing properties to it. So this one supports vaginal hygiene and relieves vaginal dryness and relieves vaginal odor and they're made with Australian tea tree oil and you get 12 of them. But these are so good and i just love the fact that it makes my downstairs area smells like tea tree 
it does last a couple of hours and like i said it is super strong but to me like it's really nice like i like the fact that a product just is helping my downstairs area at the same time and then it's also giving me compliments and people don't even know that it's actually my downstairs area that smells like tea tree but um i like them a lot that's just me these are really great and here's what they look like in case you guys do want to buy them on the website now these pads my grandma got me but i'm still gonna share them with you guys because i'm not like a huge fanatic on pads because i'll be honest my flow because the birth control i'm on it just depends like sometimes i can use the cheap the cheapest not the cheapest the cheapest pads and they'll work out perfectly fine and the dollar tree ones are an example and not everyone always has the opportunity to buy honey pot and what other brands the l brand and i don't know any other type of brand right now for pads and stuff like that because that's all i really use but sometimes like you just need to use what you can get and what you can afford and that is okay so my grandma always gets me these and ever since i started my period my grandma has always kept these for me at her house since i was younger even now even though i don't say the night a lot but these are the dollar trees brand pads you get um 16 and they're for super flow or super heavy flow and these are maxi pads they are $1.25 these are really good if you don't want to spend like the extra money and getting honey pot and the l brand stuff like that i'm going to recommend these to you because yes they're cheap but let me tell you something the dollar tree is not to be slept on and these pads work just as good as all these other pads that i'm going to share with you guys um but yeah these are really good i literally have three packs that my grandma got me and i will be using them whenever i'm in desperate need because i have so many of them and then these are another one that my grandma got me these are also from the dollar tree these are the sure and fresh maxi pads but these are the overnight flow ones so these um have six out of six in terms of like how much it holds these would be really great for my girls who have a heavy flow and for myself whenever my flow is really heavy and you only get seven of them but i think it's because like overnight and usually typically i feel like girls periods last about seven days so you can use this entire pack and only pay $1.25 during your period which i think is really good versus paying $9.99 and $8.99 for pads but I won't lie I do like the $8.99 and $9.99 pads too um with that being said this one I only have two pads left from this brand and this is the honey pot one and you can tell I be using them because look at look at the container this is the super herbal infused pads with wings this one is plant-based it has no chlorine no pesticide pesticides and no fragrances and it is mint cooling lavender calming and aloe soothing one thing i didn't know i guess because i don't really pay attention but i just recently went to marshall's they also have organic pads i thought they really only made organic tampons but they honeypot also has organic tampons and pads i'm gonna have to go and buy them and try them out because i only have honeypots like i guess the non-organic ones i've never had any issues but i do want to see the difference because i've learned an experience with tampons that the non-organic ones i still cramp a lot but we're but with the organic ones i don't really cramp at all hardly so i do want to see if the pads are the same thing but these are really nice they are the super one you get 16. always 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 go to marshall's tj maxx stuff like that for your honey pot pads do not go to target and do not go to walmart because you're gonna pay so much money for no reason like i went to target the other day the feminine wash was 9.99 that's insane it should not cost that much to cleanse your downstairs area when you can go to marshall's and they have them for 6.99 you go to marshall's and they have the pads on sale for 450 so definitely go there every single time i go to my marshall's my tj maxx they have it fully stocked with honey pot products they even recently just brought out the sensitive wipes and i've never seen them there before so i think honey pot is slowly consistently making its way to be like a thing that you can consistently buy at these stores and i'm going to highly recommend that you go there because save your money save your money and do yourself a favor save your money but i like these a lot i do cramp a lot with these but i think that has to do with the fact that um they're not organic also um 
it has a cooling sensation one thing i don't like though one of the reasons why i love honey pot pads is because of the cooling sensation but if you are someone who religiously uses honey pot pads every single period eventually the feeling goes away and i hate that so i think the next time on my period or the next couple of times i'm not going to use honey pot pads and i'm going to take a break and see if um whenever i come back around i can feel the sensation again because other than that they're just like other brands of pads like there's nothing special about them they hold like the flow really well like the other ones i will say these the wings are really good um other wings i've used to like hold them to my underwear aren't that great like the dollar tree ones are not that great but they still get the job done i feel like these are just stickier in my opinion but um that's really the only reason why i like honey pot i really love the sensation that it gives me and the fact that it holds up to its flow but like i said other pads like the dollar tree ones they hold up to their um like fulfillment in terms of like how much blood is supposed to it just doesn't have like that cooling sensation um but that's really my only thing negative to say is if you are someone who consistently uses honey pot i don't know if it's just me but eventually you get used to it and i i hate that these also I only have one left i use these religiously as well i got them on sale red sticker at marshall's every time i go to marshall's they are red sticker um honey pot products but this one is the overnight one same deal as the super ones only these are four out of four in terms of how much it holds because they're overnight the overnight ones always hold the most um blood but what's crazy i don't know if it's just me but whenever i'm on my period i bleed less in my sleep than i do throughout the day so i normally flip-flop it and i use the overnight on like a regular day-to-day -day, and then i use like the super or like the regular ones at night because i hardly ever bleed in my sleep i don't know if that's just me but same deal as the super ones i like honey pot products they hold up to their potential except like you get used to the cooling sensation and i personally don't like that this one i got at burlington for 3.99 they also have these at marshall's now i don't know how much but i know they have them this is their honey pot company calming lavender rose panty spray this one um i like to use they also have a sensitive one this one you can use pretty much everywhere on your body it's also supposed to be like Kind of similar to like a fine fragrance mist because it says you can use it on your feet and your shoes and your panties and your underarms. So it's kind of like a everywhere spray just for like freshening up. But whenever my period, I like to take these with me everywhere just because sometimes like I feel like when you have so much blood in a pad, it starts to smell. Like that's why you should consistently change out your pads throughout the day. That way you don't end up in a situation like that. But sometimes it happens no judgment so whenever that does happen to me i just spray some of this in my panties and it helps a lot until i am able to um change my pad or like refresh it up because sometimes i forget to grab extra pads or i think oh i'm not gonna bleed that much and then i do but then i feel like i can smell some odor coming on or i just want to like help prevent it before it happens and i use this and this stuff helps a lot and here's what it looks like they also have a sensitive one like i said and the sensitive one has like a different smell than the calming one but i feel like both of them are very sensitive to your downstairs area they never break me out um but it does help i feel like trapping that odor into like the pads and stuff like that whenever i am on my period as i get done shaving and stuff like that because sometimes i will shave while i'm on my period i don't know if that's just me but sometimes like the hair gets to me and i don't care if i'm on my period or not i'm gonna shave my downstairs area and one thing about it is eventually when your hair starts to grow back it starts to itch and sometimes whenever you shave your downstairs area if your downstairs area is sensitive it can um be irritated so i like to use this intimate i hope i'm saying that right but it is an intimate oil blend with olive oil and tea tree once again those like calming healing um <clears throat> sorry essential oils so i really like this one i already have one open that i use but honey pot um not honey pot nutriblast is always so kind to me and they send me multiple so this is the one that i'm currently using and a little goes a long way like i've had this one for like five months i want to say like i worked with nutriblast for the first time i think in like 2022 maybe like before christmas or something and literally it's it's not even halfway gone like this goes a long way i only use two pumps and it helps relieve so much itchiness like i'm not even kidding 
And I feel like it's just really moisturizing for your downstairs area as well because it's the oil and the oil doesn't like break me out or anything. Doesn't make me feel like, it doesn't give you like that wet feeling either. Like you can't feel this in your downstairs area if that makes sense. Like it doesn't feel uncomfortable. Like you can't feel like the oil just like swishing around whenever you sit down or anything like that. Um, so I really like this stuff for after I shave or anytime I just feel like some type of itchiness or dryness coming on from shaving and stuff like that and sometimes too whenever I use pads I experience itchiness sometimes from like um just sitting sometimes or if I like go to work out or something I feel like my thighs kind of rub on the pad and the pad kind of rubs on my downstairs area and I feel like it makes it itchy and kind of irritated because like that pad just keeps rubbing on whether it's my legs or my thighs or my downstairs area so i use this and it helps so much it helps it just like not itch and not be irritated and it just kind of like glides on my downstairs area still but like it doesn't itch or anything like that so i really like this like i said a little goes a long way i only use two pumps like once a day whenever i experience that type of like um itchiness or discomfort and boom it's gone i don't even have to use it every single day because it literally works these i got sent from my insurance actually they sent me an entire period care box and i opened it upside down i don't know why but this is the one by poise two in one liners and it is long length and it has extra coverage and you get 50 wrapped daily liners so i like to use these whenever i'm on my period and my period's ending so sometimes my period is ending i won't need a pad because it's not enough for a pad and i don't want to waste a pad but i still need some type of coverage so i go in with panty liners that way i not like dripping on my underwear and it's enough like it holds enough to where um i have no leakage and stuff like that um let me see it has odor control I've never experienced any odor on here. There's like different flow charts on here as well. But really, I don't have much to say about these. Like I said, um, I really only use these whenever my flow is ending. And it's enough to wear it holds. I don't need a lot of coverage whenever my period's ending because it's ending. It's not like it's just beginning. So this gets the job done. I really like this one though, this box, because you get 50 of them. And this has lasted me like a couple of months. Like i'm not even halfway i'm not even on the second row yet so i really like these and they're really easy to carry and travel with because they are so small these i also like to use because i forgot to mention with the um sorry i am so sorry with the boric life supplements it leaks like the powder will come out of your downstairs area sometimes and if you are just wearing like like regular panties and you put up a Boric Life supplement whenever you like a couple hours go by you'll have like chalky white stuff in your underwear. That's not discharge or anything it's just simply from like the pill melting because it's like made of like powdery stuff. I will use Nutri Blasts Balance Shields just for that. These can also be used as panty liners as well. But I like to specifically use these for whenever um, the Boric Life Supplement leaks. That way, like, that powder doesn't get in my underwear. And I'm not, like, confused as to whether or not I'm experiencing um, some type of, like, chalky white discharge or um, stuff like that. And it doesn't, like, stain my underwear or anything like that. So I will use these. These, like I said, will also be really great for um, whenever you are ending your period. These, you get 20 of them. And it supports odor control, promotes healthy pH, and shields from discharge. Then, this is my holy grail. If you watch my channel, you know how much I love this feminine wash. I have been taking a break from it, though, because I get sent feminine care products, and I want to also try them out because I don't want to just be biased and just be like, no, only buy Nutriblast, only buy Nutriblast, no. So... I've been taking a break on this, but still, this is definitely, like, top three. My favorite uh, feminine wash. I will recommend this one to everyone. It is their so fresh and clean. This one supports odor control, cleanses discharge, promotes healthy pH, and it's fragrance-free. And I love this because a little goes a long way. Like, I have three of these now that they sent me. And literally, their products last so long to the point where, like, they keep sending me more and more. And I'm like, I'm not even done with the first batch yet. 
and i use them like all religiously it's just like a little goes a long way like i was saying with this you only need two pumps and it works so well to the point where like you don't need to use it every single period so i have like three backups of that one but i really love nature Blast's products a little goes a long way it actually works it actually helps with odor and getting rid of like those reoccurring negative things like like nasty odor discharge irritation all that good stuff but this stuff is really nice it is like a gel and it has aloe vera and like good probiotics for your downstairs area and you don't need a lot because like i said it's like a gel you literally could put a dime size and i'm telling you unlike hair products when it says use a dime size and you need clearly like if you have like a lot of hair a dime size is not cutting it but with this stuff a dime size is gonna cut it for your downstairs area it lathers so amazingly and I never have any odor every time I use that and anytime a product breaks me out downstairs because like I said I do try out a lot of products on my downstairs area not frequently like not back to back to back but like every now and then I will try out something new especially if I just run out of something and there's like a product that I've heard a lot of good things about and I want to try it if it so happens to break me out like for example the Lumi deodorant or the Lumi whole body deodorant. They said you can use this on your downstairs area. I did. Literally immediately the next day I had chalky white discharge. Like it did not it did not work my downstairs area. Literally I stopped using it the next day and used this. Next day I was perfectly fine. I didn't have any chalky white discharge, nothing like that. It was done for over with within the first day that it happened so that is definitely something i can rely on and i feel like everyone should try out then i love honey pot washes but i will say i do prefer neutral glasses gel i feel like i just personally like the gel formulas over the foam washes but i will always have a honey pot wash in stock this one i got on sale for 550 at marshall's red sticker like i'm telling you guys go to marshall's this is a normal one. I've tried the sensitive and the cucumber. I like them all. I've never, I won't, I think with the cucumber, like one time I had like an instance where it didn't do so well in my downstairs area, but um, I kept using it and I think my body just kind of had to adjust to it. But I love the honey pot washes personally. I know like they had that whole thing going on in terms of changing like the product, but to me, it's all the same. I really like honey pot products. They don't dry me out. It helps my downstairs area have no odor, stuff like that. But I will say, like I said, at the end of the day, I do prefer Nutriblasts, but Honey Pot is still a really great one. I will always um, have as a backup and in stock. Now, this is one I'm using currently that got sent to me. And I'll be honest, at first I slept on it and I only used it one time, but I didn't use it correctly the first time because I don't read instructions. So this one is by Yanni Holistics and it is their feminine wash and I'm currently using it so you guys can literally see that's why like it's all messed up because it's been in my shower and I'm still using it but this one it has distilled water some type of root in it I don't know how to say it olive oil rose oil peppermint oil some type of fruit extract and some other root love the fact the ingredients are just like basic like there's I don't know how to say some of the words but like they're really basic and the ingredients is really short and simple but you're supposed to leave it on for 30 seconds for your downstairs area this stuff is so good i have no odor and i love the fact that whenever i use it it kind of gives you like that honey pot cooling sensation but i can expect it every single time because i think what it is like the peppermint oil peppermint and um maybe like some of the root the type of roots that are in it i don't know how to i don't know i don't know what these roots words are it's some like sephora root and ginseng root i don't know but it gives you like this calming sensation in your downstairs area and it kind of like tingles but not like a bad tingle but like if you've tried out the honey pot pad you probably know what i'm talking about it has that same sensation and i love that sensation and this feminine wash does it for me every single time no odor no discharge no nothing my downstairs area isn't dry whenever i use it so i really love this stuff highly recommend it if you like the honey pot like sensation that it gives you you gotta try this one as well this one is so good and like i said i'm using it currently and i love this then i think that is about it i do have some other little products but i don't be honest like i don't use these as much so i hope you guys enjoyed this like period um products video and if you did 
please be sure to stay tuned let me know some more videos you guys would like to see and i will see you guys in my next video